Well, hello. I wanted to make sure that I give this word for today and pray that you will embrace it. Um, and I'm praying that uh, those who listen to it, I'm not only sending this to our family group, but I am sending this out to those who are connected to other groups. And I want to let you know that this is a very important word for today. Today is Saturday, January the 13th. And I just think it's really, really important for us to meditate on this word. You got this in my spirit as I was meditating and studying about we need to look at his signposts that he's trying to get us to watch and prepare the condition, you know, for the condition of our hearts. And so this message is God's signposts. Yes, there are some God's signposts along the way that he's been showing us things about ourselves and things about what we need to consider to go to you know, another place concerning our heart. And so I wanted to say that to you today. Look for the God signpost. You know, he's given us an opportunity every day to have the freedom and the pleasure to be able to be where we need to be so that we can get what we need. But many of us that I want you to meditate on this today as I begin to give you this word concerning watching for God's signpost in your own life on, you know, thinking about how you need to evaluate the state of your heart is very important. So this is for all of us today, for us to meditate on this. And so this meditation is always going to be for us, meaning individually, so that we can think about what God is saying to us concerning uh, these God signposts. And so the first part of this I want you to recognize is God is talking to us concerning those things that we may have hidden in our heart. And so what I want you to do, starting today, even if you get this message late, wherever you are, I want you to take just a moment and relax and rest and kind of meditate with Daddy and ask him a couple of questions about the condition of your heart. So I want you to regularly evaluate that from the time you hear this under the sound of my voice when you finish hearing this recording. I want you to just take just a minute, and that's what I've been doing today, just playing my soft music and just meditating on those things that have frustrated me, those things that... I believe that really, really has caused me to think on things in a wrong way or even about people in a wrong way. And so I want you to really meditate on that signpost that Daddy has erected in all of our hearts and say, stop, don't think that, that's not of me, don't do that, you know, why are you doing that, my daughter, my son, you know, or you need to not go that way. And I'm trying to show you to evaluate these negative versus the positive effects that this voice or this behavior has caused us to, you know, to to leap into, and that is because we are in this state of frustration. We're in this state of tiredness and disappointment. You know, we won't leave out. Some of us are dealing with fears, fear of failure, fear of rejection, you know, you know, and just feeling rejected about a bunch of things. You know, maybe he's trying to get you to go to another direction and you're still hurting because you have to make that decision of doing that. But you got to know that any time that you are really paying attention and meditating on the fact that he wants you to look at this signpost that I've erected that is not of my spirit, is not of the fruit of my spirit. So he wants you to take that time alone and just be alone and don't talk to nobody and begin to evaluate the negative and the positive feelings, you know, that you're going through, such as, you know, those things that people have made you happy about. But those things that are negative, those are things that he wants to look at, such as anger, you know, hatred, you know, anything that you have an unforgiveness about, jealousy, or even lust, you know. And if you begin to look at these, you'll begin to see that they are usually those things that are causing us to be delayed or causing us to not feel good in our body or our blood pressure going up or, you know, you feel this, you know, there's hit in your spirit where you feel harmful, you feel sad, you know. And a lot of stuff is just usually is very senseless, you know. So I want you just to take a minute and think about that, that these things are senseless. And like I always, always say, it ain't even worth the energy that we put into it that the enemy is trying to derail us on thinking on those things. And so this insight, if you think about it, it will cause you to think about these feelings that I'm having and how it will slowly shift away as you look at these signposts that is trying to show you in the spirit that the enemy is trying to derail you on. 
And so here's this affirmation that I want you to meditate on today, just for the day. You know, because it's going to be one day at a time. We fight hell from the, from the moment that we lay down. Uh, some of you can't even sleep because so much hell is still in your head about what you're thinking and what you've been experiencing by other people mess. I call it other people uh, drama. So you, you just lay down and ask God or you sit there and be still and talk to Daddy. You know, all day long being a single person, being alone, I sit alone a lot, a lot of time in quietness with music playing sometimes and sometimes none. And I said, God, I just, I just need you to talk to me about this person. I need you to talk about, you know, to me about how I feel about this and why am I feeling this way, you know. Why do I remain in this place? Why do I allow this thing to continue to follow me around, you know. So we've got to look within. That's what that God signpost is about. Hey, you know, I don't want to preach. And so, he, you know, he began to show me you know, that's why it's a me meditation. You've got you to gotta meditate on you. You know, we always want to say what they're doing, what they're doing. Let's think about what am I doing, you know, because it, it don't take this one. But sometimes we don't even know we're doing anything. It could be the person that's just hateful or they, or they just don't like you, period. You know, just maybe they just don't understand what they're, you know, you know transmitting to you. Lord, help us all. But we all got something. Ain't none of us 100. We all are frail. We all got something wrong with us, and we all got something going on with us. Because we've got a lot of hell going around us, and we are facing a lot of hits today in our family and our ministries. And so I want you to affirm this today. Listen to me. I want you to repeat this. Come on, say it. I am becoming happier. Say it. I am. You got you to profess that thing. I am becoming happier, no matter what they make me feel, no matter what I think. I am becoming happier. The core of my being is at peace. Say it. The core of my being is at peace. Each experience is an opportunity for greater growth. Say it. Each experience is an opportunity for greater growth. There are no mistakes, only lessons. Say it. There are no mistakes, only lessons. And this is the hard part for you to say. We'll say it, but we really don't do it. I forgive all who have hurt me. Say it. I forgive all who have hurt me. Here's the other part that we say that we really don't do. And it is a process. I forgive myself for all whom I have hurt. Say that. That's very important. This is why a lot of us are still in that place. I forgive myself for all whom I have hurt. I go forth in love and peace. Do you really say it again? Remember, it's a signpost in our heart. I go forth in love and peace. I embrace the world today. I love being alive. I love people in the fruit of the Spirit. I send loving thoughts to all I think on even when I feel hurt or rejected by them. In Jesus' name. Now, I want you to accept all of your experiences, even the ones you hate. You've got to accept them. You know why? Because it's a process. And so our daddy God is getting you prepared to walk through that place that seems too hard, that seems too difficult. But just sitting alone in his presence, it's just something about his presence. And so I want to give you Luke 15 and 14 that may seem a little awkward, but it's going to show you that God has erected these signposts along life's road to help keep us out of trouble, right, out of our thoughts that keep us in this place that keeps us out of the spirit, of the fruit of who he is. They include reading the word daily. That's right. They include praying without ceasing. That's right. Pray, walk and pray, drive and pray. This day we're here, and you've got to drive and pray because people trying to run you over, check you and everything else. we got to pray without ceasing for those people, pray for ourselves, that we don't allow them to put us in that place, that we're out of the spirit. So we have to include reading his word and praying without ceasing. And we've got to also determine to seek his will for our lives, regardless of what it may be. 
So such a path, if you carry it in that fashion, as you begin to see these God, these God signposts, that means he's telling you to stop, look, listen, watch, and begin to evaluate the state of your heart. And in this place, when you begin to get that, you begin to understand such a path is sure to keep us and take us safely to the fruit of his spirit, resting in his bosom to know that he's got our backs and no weapon and no word that's formed against us is going to prosper. And when, the Bible says, and when he has sent everything, he began to be in need. I want you to realize that God is trying to show us that everything that we need is in him. It doesn't matter what somebody has said. It hurt. It doesn't matter what that spirit may be doing through them. The question is, what are you going to do? Are you going to give it to Abba? Or are you going to try to take care of yourself? If you take care of yourself in that shape that you may be in at that moment, you will not recognize the God signpost that he's trying to say, look, here it is. Stop, stop, stop. And evaluate the state of your heart. So watch what you say, when you say it, how you say it, and most importantly, pray before you say it. Love you so much. Well, think of, don't leave out what you think about what you're thinking, because that's what messes us up, right? It's what's in our minds. So the abundance of the heart is going to speak because it's in your mind. <laughs> Love you so much. Enjoy your week, and I pray this is going to be helping you through the week. God bless you. Please share it.